So we're going to get right into it so you can drop right in. Come on down onto your mat. Esta has a blanket that's folded up a few times right under her hips, and you might like that to help lift your hips just a little bit. You can have your head resting on the backs of your hands, a nice hand pillow, or you can choose to have your arms out maybe a little more with your head to one side or the other. And feel free to use any of all the props that you've brought to practice with you to make that even more comfortable. So if you'd like a towel under your forehead um, or another blanket or anything, that's fine too. Take the time to really set up here to make these postures comfortable for you. And the last couple of suggestions I can give you too is if you have a rolled mat and if it might feel better for you, you can always tuck a rolled mat under the tops of your feet. And then finally, an option would be to put some kind of weight, maybe a um, weighted blanket or a sandbag on your back. All of those are options. All you need to do is get into a comfortable place where you can drop in here. So take a few minutes in this shape to welcome you, yourself to your mat today. Notice how it feels to have the front part of your body down along the earth. It's not really kind of a normal posture that we're in every day. So be open to trying something new and different, even as you're relaxing. This orientation for your body is a good one to connect with your breath. Again, because we're not used to having the front part of our bodies up against the earth, you might notice how it feels when your belly and chest expand on your inhales. And you might become a little more aware of how your body settles when you release the air on the exhales. So we're working this month with the theme of abundance. It's August right now and August 1st, mark the ancient holiday of Lamas or Lunasa, which was the time of first fruits. It was the first harvest, not the harvest festival, but the time when harvest began. So the first, um, again, veggies or fruits, things from the garden, things from the earth started to become available for the season. And it was a time of, of joy and happiness. It was a festival, it was something to be celebrated. This year has been kind of difficult for a lot of us, being inside, being alone. And depending on where we are in the world, we're being allowed to move about a little bit now with care. And it being summer here, where we are, we're able to get outside and enjoy people's company at a safe distance and celebrating somewhat. So I like to think that we're gonna take the lessons that we learned from the past several months and kind of apply them as we go out into the world, go back out into the world. And it makes the time together with people we love that much sweeter because we missed it. And this festival 
was a time that, uh, in particular, um, corn was revered. And it was thought of as a time that, again, those, those um, emotions of joy and abundance and happiness were recognized as, as much of life as birth and death and rebirth. So sometimes we get stuck in those very big major cycles of birth and death. But there's this time, this sweet time of happiness in the middle. If you had your head to one side, you can turn it to the other side whenever it's most comfortable for you. Maybe rearrange or change some things. And if it's kind of difficult to slow down and come right down onto your mat for a restorative practice, give yourself the opportunity to slow down and drop in. Sometimes if we sit for a couple of minutes and think that our mind is racing and we can't get comfortable, you need to kind of break through a little barrier that happens and try it for a little while longer to see if you might settle in after that. So before we move from here, taking just a few more moments to appreciate your heart against the earth, maybe feeling how your whole body is rooted and stable here. Couldn't be more grounded than being completely on the earth. Notice how the earth actually kind of rises up to meet you right where you're at. Okay, in a few moments, we're going to change postures. So instead of rushing, kind of stay with the whole mindset of this practice and really take your time because you've been in the same shape for a long time. You can start to press yourself up, lifting your head, maybe thinking about moving from the center of your body. Your head has gotten so heavy here, using your arms to help you rise in any way that it's comfortable for you to come to a seat. So maybe rolling over onto one side doesn't need to be graceful. Graceful. 